repair the foundation, obtain a five-year roof certificate, or replace the roof, and replace the crack siding. So have any of you ever received a letter like this from your home insurance company? So I don't know about you, but I find it very annoying to get a letter from on high telling me what I need to do with my house. And look, I get it. Like an insurance company doesn't want to provide coverage for your house if you're not maintaining it properly. They don't want to give you a big payout if you haven't maintained your roof and it starts leaking. But this, nonetheless, I still find very, very frustrating. We recently inspected your property and we want to make you aware of repairs that need to be addressed. The inspection report of your home indicated the home has been well maintained. However, there were a few condition concerns noted. The foundation has a crack, the roof appears to have reached its life expectancy, and the siding is cracked. These required repairs are necessary to help protect your property. In order to continue coverage, we ask that the repairs be completed by January 25th, 2025. Please send photos and or receipts to me, verifying that you've completed the work. For the crack in the foundation, that's fair enough. I don't want my home falling down. So I had three contractors come out to give me estimates on what it would cost to repair. All three contractors said that they were not concerned about that crack because there's no change in level on either side of the crack. And it's also where my basement goes from a standing basement to a crawl space. So I guess it's not too uncommon to have a crack where that changes. Again, all three contractors said it wasn't a big deal and they all advised me to simply patch up that crack myself. I asked about filling that crack with epoxy and one of the contractors said, sure you can do that, but that's mostly for waterproofing if you worry about water coming in from the outside. And that's not a concern for me. He also said that if I filled it with epoxy, that epoxy would be stronger than the concrete itself. And if the foundation were still shifting at all, the crack would simply reappear on either side of the epoxy. One contractor told me I should simply fill that crack with a Sikaflex concrete caulking and that would then expand and contract with any changes in the seasons. And another contractor told me I should fill that crack with a Sikaflex concrete patch, and that would be rigid. And so if the foundation were still moving, it would crack again, and I would be aware of that. All the contractors drew up quotes for more extensive work that from their opinion wasn't really necessary. Two of them quoted for putting a carbon fiber patch along the inside of the crack, and that'd be a super strong way to join the two sides of the foundation and another quote for putting two bars of metal across the crack. These quotes range from $2,500 to $5,000. But if I can just spend $10 on a tub of cement patch or a tube of caulking, I'm gonna do that. So here I am digging down along the side of the foundation to reveal more of the crack. And I really didn't see that much more here on the outside as compared to the inside. The instructions say to clean it with a wire brush. Now I'm applying the ready mix with a small scraper and I'm really trying to work it into the crack. And so that's why I'm going over it several times, trying to push a little bit more in each time. And that's what it looks like when I was done. I found a crack on the other side of the house. And so I'm cleaning that up and excavating down a little bit and filling it in with more of the ready mix. And apparently these cracks are pretty common because my neighbor's house has the exact same layout except mirrored and her foundation had cracks in the same locations. For months, I've been considering covering up the concrete of this foundation with some stone like this, and I really wish I had because then the insurance inspector never would have seen this. Now I'm taking a photo of it to send to the inspector and see what she says. So that email didn't really seem to answer my question, but I'll assume that I'm okay with the foundation now. In the next episode, I'll be covering the roof demand because the inspector, by taking a photo from across the street, so that, that it looked like my roof had reached its life expectancy. What do you think? I'm skeptical and annoyed. <laughs> See you next time. Hey, I'm Dan and my mom and I bought some land out in the countryside to build a house. And to help with that, we thought we should have a trailer. So why not renovate a 1949 Spartan Manor? So if you wanna see how these go, plus some other random DIY stuff, subscribe and follow along.